Here is a short video where I'm going to show you how I put together the uh, limit switches for the z-axis on my Grizzly GO704 milling machine. So in a previous video I've already talked about the x-axis, I've talked about the y-axis, and now I'm going to show you how I did the z-axis. So this is probably the simplest of, of all the setups that takes the least amount of time to put together. Uh, once again, use some eighth inch by two inch aluminum extrusions. Uh, pretty simple stuff. I'll give you the, uh, the drawings and the sketches here after this video, but you get the idea uh, how to make one small turned part can see what that is and it works pretty good and as always I've been using these small limit switches that I've been able to purchase off eBay and this is the CS10N051C2 so I've used these all the way around on the limit switches for this milling machine and so far they seem to work pretty well. I only have one limit switch for the z-axis. I don't have anything uh, down as you get closer to the table. I uh, built limit switches, homing switches for a smaller milling machine and I included uh, both the positive and the negative on that smaller, smaller milling machine. Turns out though never ever actually wind up using this limit switch down here because usually you have a vise or something on the table so you wind up crashing the tool before you ever touch that limit switch so for the z-axis on this milling machine i didn't even worry about it i have soft limits set up in mach 3 so we'll let that handle that so z-axis pretty simple setup and uh if you hang on continue watching i will give you the drawings and the sketches for that